Bird and welcome to another episode of Fubar. In today's video we are going to talk about Cloud Build and how we can use it to build an existing serverless application into the cloud. If you want to know more about serverless, cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started. <laughs> So as I said, in this video, I want to start talking about code build. In the previous video, well, I talked about code pipeline and there was one step in the release process that is the build. We could use anything to build our application. We can use Jenkins, but if we don't have anything set up, one good alternative is to use code build that is a managed service from AWS. I want to talk a little bit about it and I want to show you the code and how you need to write the script that will build your application. So let's go to my slides and start looking at code build. So let's start by defining what is code build. Code build is a fully managed build service that can compile source code, run tests, and produce software packages. It's from the same family as code pipeline that we saw in the previous video. It scales continuously and process multiple builds concurrently. And the cool thing is that you will get a Docker image that you can uh, run different commands and try different things and you will not need to manage any servers and you will pay for how much you use those Docker images. So it's really cool. If you want to find more information, you can go to the amazon.com code build page. In the previous video, we have defined the pipeline and we have created our code build. So if we go in the pipeline YAML to the build section, we will see here the code build project. We will see that uh, it's a Linux container. It's the type of compute is here defined. And the image is this one. You can uh, change that image to something else. You can find the documentation with all the images there. You can also pass environmental variables from your pipeline to the to the code build. In this case, I'm passing the output bucket, the one that we just created in, in here to put our artifacts. And that's what I'm passing, but I could pass the environment, name, or other things. There is also some kind of cache for the artifacts that were built. And here you can define where the code, uh, the source is coming. In this case, is the code pipeline. Later, we will use that build uh, code build in our build stage where we just use that. So in our project, we have the pipeline, we have deployed. The next thing we have to do is to create a build spec. The build spec needs to be in the root of your file. It needs to be in the first thing that, uh, so then be code build can find it. Don't put it inside any folder. And the build spec looks something like this. It's a, it's a very verbose file. You can find it in the GitHub repo, but I will show it to you from a slide that I have created with the same information, but a little bit more cleaner. So let's go to my slide. And this is how it looks without all the uh, comments. And you can see that there are four phases, the install phase, the pre-build phase, the build phase, and the post-build phase. And then finally we have the artifacts. So in the stall phase, we will install the packages that we need and any other prerequisite that we need uh, to go through the build. So as this is an empty Docker image, I need to install things like curl. I need to install node. I need to install AWS CLI. I need to install some. So these are very important things that you need to install in order to get this working. Also, I will install the application I want to build and package. And that will bring a lot of the dependencies. In this case, I will do uh, go to the directory of the application that is simple app, and then I will run npm install. In the next phase, what I will do is I will run the unit test. I will just run npm test, and that will run the unit test. If we go back to the code, you can see inside the simple app, I have a test folder, and in there I have my test. And also in the package JSON, you will see I have a script that says how to run the test with chest. 
You can use any testing library you want, in, but you need to configure it in the package JSON with the npm test. So this works. Then in the build phase, we are going to package the we are going to build and package the application for that we are going to do some build and then we are going to do some package into the bucket that we have gotten from the pipeline and the name of the file is the template yaml the one that we have in the source code here template yaml and then the output file is packet yaml then we have the post build that we can do some kind of notifications or any customization that we need i don't do anything here and finally, we have the artifacts. This is very important. We need to list all the artifacts that are going to be uh, used later by CloudFormation. If you don't add them here, then CloudFormation will not be able to see them. We have the packet YAML and it's inside the simple app uh, directory. So we need to export that kind of artifact. So if we look at the code pipeline when we define the stage we will see that we have in the create change set we will have a template path that says uh, the name of the artifact and that's very important that it's matching and then what we do is we run the pipeline and the pipeline will have this uh, stage called build when this is running we can go and see the details now this has completed so we will be able to see everything so if we click on the details, it will open code build and we can see the logs of the build. This is all the logs of the Docker image, what is running, and you can see all the commands that you have uh, put in that script. So running curl and it's installing and then running this and running node version. So you can see the versions and then if we scroll down, you can see running, uh, going into the directory, installing the application, uh, testing, and you can see the results of the test here, one pass. So this is really cool. And here you can also see the sum build, what was the result, and you can see the sum package. Everything is here. And you can see finally uh, the upload of the artifacts was successful. And this is how you use code build in the pipeline. This was the video for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give a big thumbs up. And in the next episode, I will be showing you how to use code pipeline to share parameters into your application. So you can use only one template to deploy to multiple environments. So we are moving into the release process of de deploying to production, development, or staging, or whatever. So stay tuned for that. And around here, there are other videos from my channel for you to watch. We have the video that was uh, published last, so the last upload. And we also have the video that YouTube think is the best for you. So go ahead and click and continue watching. And if you have not subscribed in the middle, you can find the button to subscribe. And I see you next week with another episode of Fubar. Ciao, ciao!